Hey guys, what's going on? We're back with another video. Today I'll be showing you guys how, what I'm running in the Exceeds Festival. I think this is the best uh, budget deck that you can run in the festival because half the half the decks are literally suiciding and if you're going second then you, you pretty much win every single game with Numerons. And this is my deck set for free to play players. Um, you can, I'm running one Psy Frame Driver, two of the Frame Gammas. You can replace this card with Swift Scarecrow. Um, when your opponent declares a direct attack, quick effect, you can discard this card to negate the attack, then end the battle phase, which is uh, good because you want you sometimes you get the combo off where you summon f four of your Numeron Walls and. Uh, you don't have enough damage to finish them off and you need one more turn and this buys you another turn but I, I recommend crafting frame uh, frame gear gamma as it's more of a staple. Uh, next we're running three battle faders which negates uh, when you take direct damage you can special summon this card and it ends the battle phase for your opponent. I mean you, when they declare a direct attack you don't need to take it. You need to run three Numeron walls which is the it's not too expensive because you will have to run also free Numeron networks. I recommend if you're crafting this, craft this card first. You'll get one, and then uh, with around uh, 4,000 gems, we pulled the next uh, two UR Numeron networks. And in that time, we actually got Numeron Wall, all three Numeron rules, which are the most expensive part of this deck because the extra deck is very, very cheap with two, two Suyans and the normal rarity things if you're even missing one you can craft them very easily but i recommend crafting this guy to unlock your secret pack after that you'll get you have a maybe maxi you should run a maxi because it's one of your staples you'll have an ash blossom from the bundle and you can craft this guy because it's a rare you have loads of rare cp this guy you can tribute this card add one field spell from your deck to your hand which will be this card numeral network which starts off your combo these two these two cards will start off your combo. Um, I don't have terraforming, so that's why running more of these cards is good. But if you have terraforming, you can place it in. This deck's working pretty good without it. I got a hundred percent win rate so far because either people are suiciding or you're winning on turn two. Um, next card you want to craft is probably Destiny Hero Dynatag. This uh, during that damage calculations, you when you would take battle damage, you can discard this card. Make yourself take no damage from that battle, and if you do, each player takes a thousand damage, and it has a uh, banish this card from the graveyard, target one destiny hero. But th this doesn't matter. You're basically using this card to burn your opponent for one thousand damage, because the full combo, if your opponent has no monsters on the field, is about seven thousand damage with four neuron walls, neuron gates. I mean, plus Suyan at the end. Will do about 7,000 damage. You're missing 1,000 damage, so you can get it with Dino Attack instead of having to run uh, Limit Remover, which is a UR from the Roid Nexus pack, so it's quite expensive. Next, you want to have Love Gold, and this guy is quite good. Uh, you can also run extra Kaijus if you want, but this card has been clutched because it does that extra 1,000 damage as well, uh, and it also gets past some walls if people are actually playing the game. Uh, Godala, you should craft this guy. This guy goes through the Wind Barrier statue. Very good Kaiju. Very good. Uh, Rageki, you get from playing the game. is free. You should craft this Harpy's Feather Duster. It's a very good staple. You get a Lightning Storm for free. This what you will get from just opening up the secret pack. And Twin Twisters uh, is another staple, but you will, I got this. You can replace this with Mystical Space Typhoon or another Wobuku. Uh, I'm running two Wobukus. Uh, three torrential tributes and three dimensional wall. This will allow you to do damage and also negate any damage your opponents will do and also clear the board. This is the free to play version and um, I will show you quickly what I'm personally running. I'm running a little bit of a more expensive deck because I had the staples. I'm running basically the same but uh, I'm running with cool by graves and this rituals <laughs> Numeron Chaos Ritual so I can meme people with some uh, Neuronius because you know it's it's a fun event you, you gotta have some fun right uh, yeah and that's basically it the reason why you want why you may want to pull for this is because you can pull Astral Karibo in this and because of the Exceeds event you can actually uh, 
get in the pack, the exceeds pack, a uh, crooked cook. So if you had Astri uh, Astral Karibo, you can make the uh, crooked cook deck, which is pretty good, I think. It really synergizes with what you can get. But anyway, let's hop on to a duel. So as you can see, I've won pretty much every single game, apart from this <laughs> this game. Most of the games are like, um, they su do the suicide build, which is pretty good, it's very cheap. But uh, if, well, I, I prefer this build because you win and you get an extra 50 uh, medals because of it. So if you go, usually they go first, the suicide builds, so they kill themselves on the first turn. If they uh, don't kill themselves, you can just do some Numeron stuff and uh, just win the game from there. But anyway, let's uh, get ourselves into the first game. Generally, this is what's got to happen in, the, in this event. A lot of people are playing some suicide deck. So if they're going first, usually they're trying to suicide and uh, take as much damage as possible. Like this guy. This guy is just basically suiciding. And uh, it's basically a free win for you guys. You get an extra 50 medals. I don't understand why would you not play this deck because this deck is such a good turn 2 deck. Um, if they don't do suicide, you OTT, OTK them and you save time because if you think about it, you the strategy is you win the game, you lose the game in about 3 minutes or you grind the game for 20 minutes and this deck is a, a good winning deck for um, turn 2. So yeah. Anyway, let's hop on to a, uh, another, on a, a live replay. Oh no, I'm going first. What do, what do? Let's... Okay, so... I actually don't have anything for going first. I'll just set call by grave and hope for the best. I didn't even start with one of the, my starters, actually. Is this because I didn't put terraforming in my deck? It's just inconsistent. I need 10 cards to be able to get my full combo. What's this guy playing? Raid Raptors. What does it do? Um, I'm going to wait for him to special summon and then I'll draw. I'll wait for him to commit. This is him committing. I'll save my Gamma for when he has a good thing coming up. Oh, here's my Numerong wall. I did the maxis so I can get the draws for it in case to make it more consistent. Maxis is very important in this deck because of the extra draws you do get if you are going um, second. What does this guy do? Also, you kind of... Uh, fine. Nothing too scary. More cards. Give me more cards. I have a Dynatag as well, which is good. Anything scary, I can... I can go with Gamma. He's gonna... He's trying to OTK me, it looks like. What's he doing? Gain four... Um... Once per turn, you can detach one material, add one wing beast from your hand. I think I'm gonna kill this guy because it looks very, very scary. <laughs> I might. I'm gonna negate it with gamma because it looks very, very scary. I'm gonna send summon it in defense mode. And I'm gonna send the other one in attack mode. What does this guy? What's this graveyard effect? You can ask. If this card is sent to the graveyard, you can add one. Um, yeah, I don't need a call by it. I don't think. But now we have Lova Golem and we have the Numeron Wall Starter. It's looking pretty decent. It's gonna exceed for another owl. Fine. I think if he uses his effect, I will call by back grave it. Because I, I, I want him to stop. Uh, I really want him to stop. Like, doing what he's doing. I need my turn. 
I don't know if this is the thing to stop, but because uh, I've never faced against Raid Raptor too often. But I'm guessing it is the play. I need to stop him from searching. It's gonna go into Blaze Falcon now. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. I'll take the damage. Ah, oh, Ashley, I don't even need to take the damage. Dynamax, go! Nice, easy. Next turn, I think I have clear OTK here. Uh, this guy, you can detach a material. Okay, we got we drawed our network as well. Good maxi, good maxi. I think I'm gonna just further dust him. S see what his spell spell card is. I'm gonna Godala him so he can't use his effect. He uses special summoner in defense position. Okay, fine. I'll take that. Now I can lava golem him instead. Sure. Okay, now I can Lava Golem him. I'll keep my wall, I think. But I'll Lava Golem... I, I need to Lava Golem this guy. This guy's, uh... Very annoying. And I think I got OTK here. Let's activate the Numeron network. Send calling. Summon our goons. Our goons. The goon sword is coming. Let's go. All four goons are out. His card doesn't seem like he's got anything against it. And all you have to do, guys, is just attack. These guys can't be destroyed by battle. And you start gaining gaining effect. You can even use the diet. Dino tag effect to negate the damage and also gain the attack so and also burn them so burn them take no damage these cards will activate I mean you do take damage but you take less damage oh no not that one you can use wall to negate battle damage too if you need be and we got the OTK with the Numerons. See, that was pretty easy. Pretty, pretty easy. 8,000 damage straight to the face with Dynatag. It's, uh, depending on how many Dynatags you get, it's even easier. And if you don't if you don't have uh, Mons, you can, uh, with the full combo with Suyan, it's 7,000 damage on your stamina phase. You just need 1,000 extra more burn, and you'll get him. Anyway, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next video.